Good morning, everyone. This is early morning in Vegas and it's raining. And uh, I'm pretty excited because even with this rain, uh, nothing's gonna kind of get us down because uh, I'm just gonna go uh, to the Paris and meet a good friend whom actually I've never met uh, in person before. And that's Matthew from Say Hi to Matthew, a really cool guy. But with the rain, that's not gonna get me down because I think we're gonna have some donuts at the donut bar and uh, kind of explore the good eats. So I see, I'm just waiting for my uh, lift ride. Uh, normally I'd walk, but uh, who knows with the rain. So uh, thank you so much for joining and uh, I can't wait to check out all the great places. Uh, I hope you're ready. Uh, come on, uh, let's go for some donuts and coffee. Yeah. Matthew, how are you? Good morning. Good to see you. Yeah. Pretty early in the morning. It's Maybe not early. for you because it's uh, probably like noon for you. Yeah, not yeah. bad, not bad. I'm, I'm pretty good. I got up at 7 a.m. Yeah. Good to go. All right. Perfect time for some donuts. And coffee. Tim, you wanted to go there last time, but they were sold out. Oh, I was so disappointed. Yeah, so yeah. because you got to go before 12, right? Yeah, so around what, 11 o'clock it, uh, it was all 11, closed. 11 12, you better yeah. be there before that. So uh, I guess uh, let's head out. Let's go. All right. So a short lift ride and uh, we're here in downtown Vegas. I can't imagine a better time to visit yep. the donut bar than with Matthew. With the donut guy. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Yeah, so I, I heard you, we get a discount too. Yes, if you mention me, you get 10% off here at the donut bar. And, and, and if you can, uh, post your donut uh, to uh, Matthew's yeah, Instagram. Yeah, you can tag me in it. Yeah. Say and, hi to yeah, Matthew on yeah. Instagram and let me see, let me know which is your favorite donut. Mine's the big pop tart, which Let's go inside. Let's go see the donuts. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Donut. donut and coffee. Oh, thanks, Matthew. Oh, wow. All the great folks here. And Matthew is just like he's at home uh, with uh, like family. So really cool. George, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is so cool. All right. And what a surprise. I see Matthew number two. Hey, Joe. Hey, Maggie. Good morning. Hope you guys are hungry. Oh, I saw all the great donuts here. Uh, and then there's some specialties as well, right? Yes, on the weekends we make a French toast and a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese donut. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I like better after. So yeah. I want to see what you like first. So we're going to try grilled cheese, uh, French toast, and then... What's your favorite? You had My the, favorite is the big Pop-Tart with the, the big s'mores. So you got to try that. With a Pop-Tart inside. No, we got to yes. get... He's the first time here. We got to show him okay, the so donut we'll experience. In. Let's, go, let's go over there. Let's take a look. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Yep strawberry shortcake oh hey is this your big papa tart yes yeah, so they have um that's a strawberry yeah a blueberry and a s'mores oh i think the creme brulee looks yeah, really good that's yeah. that's the boston cream isn't it oh there's a boston cream as well yeah i thought this oh holy cow this, this is crazy oh thank you oh, hey there joe this is great what time were you up today Five o'clock in the morning. Making the donuts? Oh yeah. Oh wow. We slice the top and bottom and then we grill it. Oh, and this is a real grilled cheese. You're grilling the actual cheese. Yeah. All right, so that is a grilled cheese. And that is the French toast donut. All right, cheers to you. Mm. Cheers to you. Cheers, cheers. Hey, this is all your videos. So and our donuts here. are here. Let's take a look at what we have. What do you want to try and then I did. I'll figure oh, out how to use it. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, so let's see. We got our uh, Boston cream. That's your favorite on the way here, so we have to get you that. The pop tart. This is the elevated Boston cream, right? Because you can this yeah. one. Oh, yeah, wow. This is the healthiest one they have because of the strawberry. Yeah, she's very, very apt. So Matthew, I don't know. Well, let's let's try the grilled cheese while it's uh, nice and hot and stringy. Good choice. We'll cut it here first. I think that's a good idea. So a cinnamon glazed donut. Oh, shall... oh boy. All right, shall we do this one? Oh, do a little syrup pour for you guys. Oh, so it's pretty cool. Whenever Matthew pours the syrup, things slow down. It's like we're near a black hole. We're gonna really stick with that. Hashtag yeah. black hole in the comments. All right. All right. Go ahead. Here. All right. Oh. So we've been chatting up for a while. Have a nice day. Oh, beautiful pull. <laughs> Wonderful flip. Yeah, I'm trying to get it on. Cheers. Oh. It's so good. It's so unique. The flavor is so unique. Like, 
just like before. They, oh, and these sell out first. Oh, really? Weekend, but they're like the first things to go. Oh, okay. These two. So all right. Come really early if you want these. Oh, all right. Can't wait to give it a try. <laughs> Cheers to you. Mm. A little bit of the savory, cheesy goodness and the uh, sweet the contrast of that cinnamon donut. Mm. That's so good. Can't wait to try the French toast donut next. All right. Oh. oh. That is heaven. You know, when they talk about a uh, uh, brioche French toast as the best French toast you can get, they're wrong. It's a donut French toast. Light and soft and custardy. Oh, very nice. George, you were right. No, it was my favorite. I got both at the same time. It's just that one hit me more. Mm. It's not that that's bad. That's great. Oh, yeah. This, this one. I like this one. Me. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I love French toast. Right, it's yeah. pretty amazing to see Matthew and and his whole community. You're, the live stream and the YouTube channel. Hashtag yeah. Matt Pack. It's best all best about bringing people together, and you do that so it. well. And that's uh, hats off to you. That's, that's part of YouTube for sure. It is, to absolutely. People around the world and everything, bring the community together. Yeah. And you guys are amazing. And to be honest, I think this is kind of the best. I, I'll, I'll speak for us, I guess. This is the best thing. Um, that we can imagine, uh, just having you guys connect and For really sure. cool. 100%, yeah. yeah. Oh, but that looks really good. Say, uh, George's choice. Uh, go with the Boston cream. Oh, okay. Boston. all right. This one. Let's try the Boston cream. Oh, look at this. That's with the Pop Tart inside. With the smart. So this one is my, oh. my favorite. I'm going to put a pause to the Boston cream and go for the big Papa Tart. No, it's oh. The icing is just crumbly. Yeah, the sign that they kept wow. there. Oh, look at that. Oh, right. Cheers. Wow. And people were tweeting. I really don't watch the show, but I know it. You know what I mean? Beautiful yeah. donut, yeah. fluffy on the outside, and uh, crunchy and crispy. Pop tart, pastry inside with a gooey chocolate ooze. Oh. I'm got to try that Boston cream. Oh, well, no, that's my high. Well, I got up to 3 to 100 and taken the same thing. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> that is a sign of a good Boston cream where there's more cream than donut, but a very good ratio. Mm. So this is a donut bar. So great. We have Matthew around, showing me around, and Joe, and all the people here, like George, are fantastic. Seven days a week, rain, sun, or snow. But early. Yeah, come early. Yeah, because if you come after 10, 11 o'clock, yeah. slim pickings. And I can't think of a better time to visit than with Matthew, and, and if you don't get real Matthew, uh, you'll get uh, the Matthew, you'll get this guy there. Still a few, a couple of donuts that we were, I, I guess we'll save for later. And, uh, we'll have to save for later. Yeah. yeah. We got, we got more food videos to film, so we can't eat it all right now. It's good. Yeah. Okay, we're definitely going to box it up. We're not going to All right. It. Yeah, so first stop in Vegas, and uh, we'll see what other good eats we have. So cheers. Thanks for having me in your video. Thank you for having me here. This is great. I appreciate it. Oh, cheers to you. I guess I ran over the concrete light books. So really nice to see the sun coming back out and a uh, really fantastic time with Matthew at the donut bar. What a class act and uh, I must say Matthew is as genuine and uh, as nice as you see him there. And it's really wonderful to see how Matthew brings everyone together, uh, the mat pack, uh, and really enjoyed the donuts. And uh, I think uh, I've gone for a little bit of a walk. Uh, Matt is back and uh, in the hotel uh, and just enjoying the strip. The sun is out. And I think uh, while I was there, Matt was mentioning how he likes the Cosmo Wicked Spoon Buffet. So I've got a little bit of time to kill. I think Matt is going to uh, set up what they call a slot pole. So I might go uh, join him and his, uh, his uh, let's say, extended family for that. But for now, a uh, little bit of time to kill. Why don't we go for the Wicked Spoon Buffet? Uh, come on, let's go. So inside the Cosmopolitan, and this is the Wicked Spoon with the Wicked lineup. I think we're coming up next. 
I got my ticket and uh, now it's off to line number two to get seated. Hey Nick, hey congratulations! Oh, Scott, thank you. All right, so I hope you're hungry. I'm starving. Oh, crab legs, and prime this. rib. I, the, la the last time I was here, though, was during COVID. Oh, so they nice. had uh, the people serving you. Yeah, right? which would suck because if you want, you're like, I want 15 chocolate lava cakes. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I want okay. nine, or, 15 of those. Or 75 crab legs. That's what I'm saying. I want. I want a, the guy knows. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah, I want a buffet in peace. Yeah. You know? yeah. I want, there, I want to grab my own 75 five legs. But if you're having to tell someone, then it's kind of, hey, and maybe, I, maybe I shouldn't get that many. And congratulations. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Marie, thank you so much for this table. You're welcome. You never have to wait long to get a table at Wicked Spoon. Oh, thank you. Never have to wait too long at the Wicked Spoon. And uh, Marie sat me at this wonderful table right behind the dessert bar there so uh, not too much walking but this is a beautiful room lots of people enjoying their food and elegant lighting of course huge dining room and lots of good things at the buffet i can't wait to take you there but i think uh our breakfast drink is coming oh good morning any drink let me know okay thank you thank you hong enjoy thank you okay happy brunch to you Mm. Nothing like a pineapple mimosa. And with that, I think uh, let's hit the buffet. So as we mentioned, that's the dessert station, which I'm going to go back many times. And uh, oh, look at this. So this is one end of the buffet, Asian food. And I think I see some hot crab legs and it stretches all the way to the end. And it's really hard to decide where to go first, but I think I'm going to start over there away from the dessert station and then work my way back to it but look at this we see some butter here so it's a bit of a walk and i see nick over there how's it looking oh you're starting with dessert first my third trip third trip and i think this is where we start the salad station okay so let's see where do we start some charcuterie manchego lots of cured meats iberico pork and mortadella i guess a standard salad station with shrimp. Let's go for one of these. Rounding the corner, what do we have? Okay, nothing to see here. Breads. Oh, but after the bread, it gets better. More seafood. Tuna crudo. Let's go for one of these. This is interesting. This is a banh mi salad. And we have beef tataki, nice and cold. Let's go for one of these. Loads of tortilla chips. And when you see tortilla chips, you're going to need a topping, okay, the guacamole, and some wedge salad, and Caesar salad classic, and jars of greens. I think this is a butternut salad, but I think we got to check out the hot food behind us. So really nice vegan and vegetarian options. Uh, chickpea masala, and oh, I think these are little bits of samosas. So nice vegan and vegetarian options. Oh, and we have some meat, some beef and lamb, euros, and look at these tacos. And I think I'm gonna go for one of these. Oh, and some real good stuff coming up. So this is broccolini and that's not the really good stuff. This is, they have bone marrow. So let's go for a couple of pieces. Piece number one. Keeping a company, piece number two. And three is getting to be a crowd. And it's kind of nice because they've got little meats, uh, little chunks of meats on here. Very good spread here. This is just the first round. And as I was walking through, we saw the crab legs and that wonderful prime rib. So we're gonna go for that and we'll go for that later. Uh, nice to get it while everything's hot. But let me show you what we have here. We've got the tacos and the guacamole and the chips and the nice bone marrow. I'm really excited to try that. And then some seafood and uh, beef uh, tataki. So many things to try, uh, I think. Let's try the tuna crudo. Oh, and a little bit of sauce. Looks citrusy. Mm. Very nice. Fresh and sweet, a little bit of brininess from the ocean, 
and the nice citrus zing. Mm. The beef tataki looks pretty cool. Give it a cut. Oh, roll that up. Oh, <laughs> nice meaty slice and uh, seared on the outside. Lots of flavor. Mm. I gotta try that taco before it gets too cold. Oh, barely holds together. Mm. Luscious pork, look at all that juice. And a little bit of spicy cheese. Mm. And a little bit messy. And so far, that taco is my favorite. All messy, but good. But I can't wait to try the marrow. So it's pretty nice. They've got little chunks of meat. So, okay, not too much on this one. It's kind of nice to take a few. So you have uh, different uh, options in case one marrow doesn't work out. You've got more backups to go for. Let's give this a try. Oh, okay. That is very good. Even though this piece was pretty small, it's very good. You got the fattiness of the marrow and the crunchy, crispy shards of beef. Mm. But I think we need a good substrate on which their marrow sits. And I think the chips are perfect for that. So let's grab our marrow here. A little bit of beef. Scoop that in. Oh my goodness. Juicy, luscious marrow. Like uh, they call it beef butter. And I can't think of a better word to describe this. Mm. Forget the guacamole, get the chips and marrow. That marrow is soft and luscious, jellied butter. But I guess we don't need to go for either or. We can go with both marrow and guacamole together. Mm. Very nice. So just the first round, a small teaser to start. And what a great teaser it is. I'm going to finish this up and then we'll head over. I saw fantastic crab legs and even a better roast. So got to go for that. And we'll take it back. Mm. So we saw that end of the buffet. And I think uh, in the middle we saw a lot of carvery. But I think uh, let's start from the other end because the crab legs are here. So round two, let's go for a little bit more seafood. Okay, so I've got my plate and I see some uh, Asian foods. Okay, oh, steamed buns. I'm going to say no to those. But I wonder what's under this one here. Oh. These are shrimp xiao mai. Let's go for one. Good start. And then rounding the corner. Oh, more Asian food. Asian broccoli. And wow, look at these ginormous fried shrimp. Go for one here. And look at this, little fried rice. Oh, how cute is this? Oh, and coming up, I can't say no to a good bowl of noodles. Got a noodle station. Lots of items here. I think maybe a little bit of light rice noodles. Right there. But that Thai curry broth looks really good. And some rolls, some mussels. Ooh. Some Singapore noodles, that looks really good. Just a little bit next to the shrimp. Okay. Saute tofu. And oh, look at this. We have the butter. And when we see the butter, I think the crab is coming up. All right, so look at all this. Fresh steamed crabs. Snow crabs are much more easy to eat. Really nice. So really nice to see that they have crab. It's kind of like the uh, South Point Buffet. Uh, that's only on Fridays and that's a big lineup. So 
kind of nice to see that they have it here. And a similar price, about 40, 50 bucks. And more seafood. So individually plated salmon. Let's go for one. I think this is um, like a risotto, but with noodles. Give that a try. Right here, nice and comforting. Okay, and really great to see all the hardworking folks at the back. We have more pizza. And I think this is scrambled eggs. And it's kind of nice that they have little sections and uh, we're off to the next section. Okay, these are shrimp and grits. Looking really wonderful. And pasta, this is lamb ragu. And I like it because they're in little portions. Normally I'll stay away from the pasta, but they are so small and hot. And the breakfast items, so buttermilk pancakes. And I think these are brioche French toast. And normally I go for the brioche French toast, but after that uh, donut French toast at the donut bar from Joe, uh, it just ruins every other French toast for you. So let's take a look what else they have. Got some roasts and root vegetables. Okay. And a little bit of bacon. Now we're talking just one because it's brunch. And let me show you what I have so far. And the plate is getting full with many other plates. <laughs> Round two is looking very good. Look at all this seafood from the shrimp and grits to more shrimp to the salmon and of course to the crab and more shrimp with the butter. And that shrimp and grits to start things off look really good. A nice gravy and grits, polenta. Mm. Shrimp has a great texture. Very rich and creamy and light at the same time with the cream sauce. Mm. And as comforting as that was, let's go for the fedule. A nice saucy noodle like a risotto, but with shrimp and a big shrimp. Well balanced. Mm. Oh. That is very good. As good as a shrimp is. Noodles are nice and soft and saucy and comforting. Mm. Big forkful. Very good. The salmon looks incredible. All right. Good cream. Give that a try. Mm. It's okay. The cream sauce is very good, but I think sometimes when the salmon sits out a little bit, it gets a bit dry. Mm. Yeah, a little bit dry, but hopefully the next batch would be good. But until then, gotta dig into the crab. And the only way to do this is with our hands and they free practice for you. As Norma says, uh, snow crab is probably the best. Easy to eat, nice and sweet and meaty. There we go. And we got the whole thing, almost. A little bit of crab and the clarified butter. Mm. Always a danger with cartilage, but very nice. Crab is nice and warm and meaty. Sweet, oceany, brininess. Very good. And instead of the butter, maybe a little bit of butter, but let's try it with the Thai curry soup. Mm. Mm. All right. So make sure, go for the butter and also go for the Thai curry soup. And speaking of the Thai curry soup noodles, let's give that a try. I forgot chopsticks. So the fork is the next best thing. Mm. Mm. Very good. The soup is nice and aromatic, rich curry coconut flavor, and light rice noodles. Mm. Mm. Very good. Go for the soup. Pairs perfectly with the crab. And I can't wait to see what's in that little box. I know it's fried rice, but Let's see what it looks like. Oh, all right. <clears throat> a little bit of fried rice. So pretty standard. Let's give this a try. 
Mm. It might not look like it, but that fried rice is very flavorful. Nice, perfect texture, not too soft, not too hard, and perfect amount of MSG. Uncle Roger, you'll be proud. Mm. So, I'm gonna finish, I guess, this seafood round. And I can't wait to try the prime rib and all that comforting food that's still to come. And we'll take it back. Thank you for joining. All right, cheers. Mm. The seafood round certainly gets better, and when you're getting the crab, make sure you go for the Thai curry soup. Uh, not only is it a good soup, but a fantastic dipping sauce. And that lamb ragu pasta is something else. So with the seafood done and dusted, let's go for some comfort food, some meats, and maybe a fried chicken or two. Come on, let's go. It's getting later in the day, and it's getting really busy here. and certainly one of the best brunches, if not the best brunches in Vegas. And I see them loading up the fried chicken. Hard to decide which one to choose. Let's go for one of these. And a great station coming up. Look at this. Aiden A's. Not too bad, this looks really good. Um, can I get a leg of lamb? Just a little bit and then maybe, oh, what do you have? Let's get a fatty piece of fry tip. Yeah, maybe the fatty piece. Perfect. Oh, just for fun, yeah. All right, thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dennis. Looks nice and juicy. There we go. Little bit of sauce. Oh, and we have more. Let's see, some sausages and chicken. Oh, thank you. I shall grab one more. So I thought they had prime rib, but I guess tri-tip is okay. Ooh, an angry mac and cheese. Let's go for one of these. Oh, and I think we are overlapping in a wonderful area. The bone marrow. And bone marrow is hit and miss. You can get a good piece with lots of marrow or just a shallow piece with a nice crispy coating. But I think that is a nice marrow bone right there and how about right here and maybe a second piece so it's kind of interesting i came by here earlier i didn't know what that station was but after reading the sign it makes sense now so we've got the omelet station and this is a station i didn't really know what they were doing but this is a loaded mashed potato station and i think with all the meats we definitely need some potatoes loaded mashed potatoes so starting off with a creamy mashed potato that's almost like a butter sauce. Right over here with crispy onions, crispy bacon. There we go. A little bit of scallions, a little bit of cheese, sour cream on the side, one jalapeno to top it off. All covered in a nice gravy on the meats and a little bit on the potatoes. Round three, our comfort food round is certainly looking very good. Uh, love the marrow bone with the sausage and got to dig into that fried chicken first. Oh, nice and small. Looking pretty good. And I don't know why I said small. It's not small. Let's see. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. It's a little spicy. I guess that's why they call it wicked chicken. But I think I got the white meat and uh, would prefer dark meat, but it's really hard to tell. But this is not bad. Mm. Actually, for white meat, pretty good. Mm. But I think we gotta dig in to the rib roast. All right, so this is a sirloin tip with a little bit of fat on the top to keep it moist. So this is looking pretty good. Mm. For the cut it is, the tri-tip, very tender, very meaty. Definitely different than a prime rib. I do prefer prime rib, but this cut is not too bad. 
<clears throat> but the lamb, we gotta try the lamb because we can see that there's a nice ridge of fat cap right there. All right. Hmm. Not bad, but it needs a little something like a sauce or a gravy. But in lieu of the sauce, we've got a substitute, a mashed potato that is almost like a buttery sauce. Let's give that a try. Mm. All right. That makes all the difference. That potato is so good because it is a loaded mashed potato. A little bit of gravy, creamy potatoes mixed with crispy, smoky bacon and particularly the crispy onions and uh, the nice freshness of the scallions. Mm. Very nice. And going from one comfort food to the next, we gotta try the angry mac and cheese. So the server or the host mentioned this is her favorite. Mm. A little bit of spice, a little bit of tank, but it's all married and mellowed with a wonderful cheesy cream sauce. Mm. So the seafood round is great. The car carvery round, not too bad, but prime rib would have been good. So I'm going to finish this off. It's, it's actually not too bad. This is third round. But as you see, things come plated in little plates. So you're not really eating that much, but you're getting a lot of variety. So very good. So again, finish this off. And I don't know why Marie put me at this table that's tempting me with the dessert station right at the back. So I got to finish this up and we'll go for dessert. Cheers. Mm. Very good. So finally get to approach the dessert station and uh, round three was done and dusted. Those bone marrow pieces, I guess each piece is different. The ones I had this time were full of rich, luscious marrow and paired up with that loaded mashed potato it was a combination made in heaven. But let's switch over to the desserts and I'll grab a plate. Starting off, we have something nice and light. Coconut panna cotta with a few berries, chocolate cake or chocolate cupcake, cookies, maybe with a cup of coffee, cheesecake and zenith mousse cake. That looks pretty good. Let's go for one of these. I love the fact that they're small and you can have many. Moving on, we've got the carrot cake and oh, this one looks really good. This is a strawberry matcha yuzu cake. Hard to say, but I think it's fun to eat. Right next to the Zenith mousse cake. Oh, and then some pastries. This is a mango lattice. Normally I don't go for these, but I think this is a Jollibee mango pie inspired dessert. Right over here. Got some apple turnovers, chocolate croissants. Oh no, more donuts. I'm gonna skip these. Joe's at the donut bar was very good. Chocolate covered strawberries. Go for one. Right here. Oh, and it continues. Chocolate mousse. Lemon cheesecake. I think these are the sugar free cheesecake. And then the creme brulee. And as much as I like a creme brulee, I think I'm gonna skip. There's room for so much more. Pots of hot molten lava cake. All right, and more sections once you round the corner. How can we say no to a red velvet cake? Oh, and it gets better. A raspberry chocolate ganache tart. Balanced carefully. All right, some muffins. Hi there. Oh, wow. Fresh cookies. Oh, and this one fell, so I'm going to grab this one right over here. No, you won't. Yeah. Thank you. And these are not ice cream cones. These are cannolis, but in cone form. Right in here. Oh, and there's one more important station left. 
Hey, Ron, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? Oh, very good. I can't think of a better way to top off a meal and top off dessert than ice cream. Well, I can give you a sample of pistachio. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe not a sample, maybe a full serving. Can I get the pistachio? Absolutely. All right. Pistachio, real color of the pistachio isn't neon green, is it? No. no. This is actually the, the flavor that you want to Italy, that's what you would find. Yeah. Thanks. Nice to meet you, Tim. Oh, thank you, Ron. What a great spread here at the Wicked Spoon and thank you so much for everyone who uh, suggested to come here. I must admit I was a little bit hesitant because they only serve brunch, but what a brunch this is. Again, really think this is the best in Vegas or best brunch in Vegas for $40, uh, $50. But let me show you what I have here. Pistachio ice cream and this wonderful spread. And with the mimosa almost gone, we've got some milk and soda water from Hong. And I was hoping to do an emergency makeshift egg cream, a fantastic drink from LA, from Langer's Deli. And all we're missing is the chocolate syrup. And I think we can remedy that. Hey, Ron. Hey, can I ask a favor? Yes. Okay. Can I get a squirt of chocolate syrup in my cup? Absolutely. Oh. Let me win. Oh, that's good. Oh. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so we have our chocolate syrup. Let's go for the milk. Icy cold. A little bit here. Soda water. So this, without the foam, is a little bit of a makeshift egg cream with ice. Cheers. Mm. Pretty good. Definitely not as good as the ones in LA, but not bad. Mm. Let's go for some desserts and that lava cake is looking good. Let's dig in. Okay, so rich and fudgy. Not bad. For the amount of volume they have, they certainly do a good job. Oh. Warm, fudgy goodness. And the only way we can improve on that is to top it off with some pistachio ice cream. Mm. That's very good. The hot and warmth of the chocolate cake with the cold coolness of the pistachio ice cream. And that pistachio ice cream is probably the best pistachio ice cream I've had. Rich pistachio flavor incredible intense flavor in fact mm. Mm. i kid you not real pistachio flavor toasty if you're at the cosmopolitan i'd start with a pistachio ice cream make sure you don't miss that very nice and next let's go for the cannoli in cone form looking really good mm. I'm tasting really good. Cannoli filling in a waffle cone. And of all the desserts here, we really want to dig in to that yuzu matcha cake. Mm. That is very good. A little bit of tang from the yuzu and a nice, rich, earthy matcha. Really nice cream. Mm. Very good. So. This is the Wicked Spoon at the Cosmopolitan. Again, I think it's probably the best brunch in Vegas on the Strip. $40, $50, actually $50 for all the crab, the bone marrow, that's a standout. And again, the pistachio ice cream, make sure you go for that. Really nice time here and fantastic time meeting up with uh, Matthew at the donut bar. Great people, incredible donuts, and it's certainly an experience. Uh, something definitely not to miss. So I think I'm gonna finish this up, work up my energy, and Matthew is organizing something called a slot pool. I think I'm gonna go visit him, and I hope you can join me as well. And uh, my hat's off to Matthew again. Great community. Uh, visit his channel, uh, say hi to Matthew. Uh, I'm getting all my tips from Vegas uh, from him. So again, I'll finish this up, and I think it's almost time for the slot pole, so gotta hurry. And we'll take you there post haste.
So this is the Palazzo and a great meal at the Wicked Spoon at the Cosmopolitan. And I'm here to see how Matthew is organizing a slot poll. And Matthew mentioned uh, to come here, go to the Palazzo and look for love. Oh, and I see love up ahead. <laughs> All right. Hey, Matthew, how are you? The question for you is, are you ready for the jackpot? Sometime? I think we're ready for the jackpot. <laughs> this is fantastic. You have such a great crowd here. We've got an amazing community over here. So how does this work? So we're all going to go over to the slot machine. Yeah. And we win. That's it. All right. That's, that's all we got to worry about. So oh, great. So everyone puts $100 in, and uh, whatever we win, we're going to split equally. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's the fun. That's the key to have some fun. Yeah. That's... Get over there now. But I think you're hungry. You want some donuts? No. No, <laughs> no more donuts. <laughs> but next time for sure. I think we're ready to go. Wish us luck, but win or lose. Uh, such an amazing crowd. Really good time. Uh, let's go check it out. Just in the casino looking for our lucky slot machine. So we're gonna win big on this machine over here. Let's see. Okay, so this is pretty incredible. Huge crowd here, all excited. Uh, so we each shipped in $100, uh, 25 people, 25, uh, 100, and uh, hopefully we'll win. Come on. Spin. Come on. Oh, uh, no. You know, you know that guy's playing craps, and this guy said, this is the one. I'm going to walk away, and it's going to hit it. So I call this the walk away. Right. Go for it. <laughs> Hold on. Keep walking. Oh! Oh! So Matthew has this walk away. I think he's gonna have to do this every time. <laughs> All right, so pretty amazing here. So it turns out uh, after so many spins, we're up $110 each. So uh, really fantastic here. And uh, you can see how Matthew is. Uh, really getting a, a community together and so thank you so much for joining uh, this is Vegas and thank you for spending the day with me and uh, Matthew here uh, so until we see each other again uh, I hope you're sleeping well and I hope you're uh, uh, eating well and traveling well so with that uh, God bless and take care of each other take care bye bye